Hey guys, uh, in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step uh, setting up your registration page. Okay, this is going to be the page that people go to. You're going to drive your traffic to the registration page so they can sign up for your webinar. Okay, so um, when you click on this third tab, okay, uh, the, the first thing you're going to be able to do is preview the registration page. So, what I always like to do is just open this up in a new tab. And as you'll notice, there's going to be a, kind of a default template that we use. Uh, I'm actually going to use a different one. I'm just going to use this one. That's my favorite one here. So whenever I update the template, I can just go flip back to this tab and I can refresh the page and I'll be able to see it updated. So that's why I like to have it on a separate tab. Okay. Now, uh, going back to the registration page, what the first thing you can do is translate the uh, the months and the days. Okay, so if you're looking to translate it into a different language, we give you the option to be able to do that. Okay, so what you'll need to do is make sure you follow this exact format, how it is um, entered with the commas. Okay, it must be in order from Monday to Sunday, January to December. So make sure that you follow um, you follow that. Okay, and then it'll show up here on this um, on the calendar. Okay. So that's the, that's the first thing. If you do want to translate it, if you're using English, you won't have to worry about this, uh, customizing that, but it is there for you. Okay. The second option is a banner. Okay. This is a banner if you want to brand your page. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, you can hide it or you can show it. I'm going to show it. If you want to have just a, a, a plain background color, you can do that, or you can have an image. So what you need to do is create a banner image and then a background repeating image. If you're a designer, you know how to do this. Um, if you have a designer, what you should probably you should tell them is that you need a uh, a banner image and a and a background repeating image, 89 pixels high. That's um, that's how many pixels it should be, uh, height wise for best results. So uh, let me just show you really quickly what that's going to look like. So if I upload my background repeating, um, I have that right here. I'm just going to load that, and I'm going to insert that. And I'm going to upload this image for my header and it'll load up just like any normal WordPress. Um, you know, you just drag the files in and then you insert into post or in this case, it's just inserting it into the plugin and I'm going to save an update. Okay. Now when I go back here, you should have a nice banner. So the banners up here at the top. Okay. Um, so that looks good. That's the, the background repeating is so it can stretch out regardless of how, how um, wide the browser is. Okay. So that's, if you want to have a banner, okay. Uh, the background style settings. So this is, if you want to have a background color. So a lot of this can just be, you know, just, just testing, just, you know, change something and see what it looks like. So say that I wanted to have like a light blue color, maybe right there. I'm going to save that and you'll notice that it's going to go from this gray to a blue color. Okay. You can change that to whatever color that you'd like. If you want to have a repeating background image instead, feel free to add that in um, or just upload it for now. I'm just going to leave this background color Okay. for the meta information. So this is going to also be used for the social sharing. Okay. So right now it says demo testing. Um, and then the descriptions right here. Uh, if you have a social share image URL, you can put that in there as well. So, uh, this should be 120 pixels by 120 pixels for the image. So this is used for, you know, for Facebook, when it publishes it to, uh, your Facebook newsfeed, this is the image that's going to show up. Okay. So, um, you can enter that information here. This is going to be shown on the thank you page. So after they've registered, it'll be shown on the thank you page. And in the next video, when I actually go through the thank you page, you're going to see, um, this information, um, displayed. And so I'll show, I'll show it to you in action. So this is what you may want to put something a little bit more appealing on the, just the title and the description. This also gets used for the meta information as well. So it shows up at the top, top of the browser bar. Okay. For, for SEO purposes. Okay. Then you have your main headline. Now we've put in something generic, uh, just based on the information that you've put in here. You'll obviously, obviously want to improve on this, but it's just a normal, um, WYSIWYG editor. So you can adjust this. Uh, you can change the fonts, you can change the colors, whatever you want to do here. Uh, and it's basically, it's going to just show up right up, up top. Okay. So that's for your main headline. 
Then you'll have your call to action area. Okay, the call to action area is going to be right in this section here. So you can have a video, you can have an image, uh, you could also change this color. So right now it's black. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show a video. So with the video, all you need to just copy and paste your embed code right in here. Now, if you're using YouTube or you're using Vimeo, you can't, it'll automatically resize to the ideal width and height, which is 500 pixels wide, 281 pixels in height. Okay. So if I'm just going to, I uh, have a, a, a video here, I'm just going to grab the embed code from YouTube and I'm just going to copy it and I'm just going to paste it in here. So it's just the normal copy or normal embed code from YouTube. So I'm going to save this, save an update. And I'm going to, and you'll see that it's right here. Okay, so um, right now it's not on autoplay. Okay, let me show you a trick. Uh, there's there's a little piece of code that I placed in the uh, in the training. Okay, you just need to add this question mark autoplay equals one to your video, and I'll show you where you put that. Okay, so in your video here, I'm just going to put it at the very end of this URL, so it finds this embed code URL and you put in question mark autoplay equals one and you'll notice that when I save that and I refresh you'll notice that it automatically starts playing okay so that's what you want to do if uh, if you use YouTube or Vimeo now if you're gonna use like a third-party uh, video player like easy video player or easy video suite uh, it's go you're going to have to resize it yourself. So you'll do that inside of the settings here. So right now you can see here's here's the video I have. Um, I want to make sure that it is, excuse me, uh, 500 by 281. So I'll just go in here and I'll put in 500. Okay. Um, right now I have it as 282, which that's close enough. Okay. And I'll set it to autoplay and I will save this and then easy video player gives you the code, right? So um, I would just copy and paste this code. Oops, sorry, I got a lot, of, a lot of windows open here. Instead of my YouTube code, I'm putting in my easy video player code and I'm just going to click save. And now if I refresh that, you'll notice that it's my easy video player code. So. Obviously, there are tons of different ways to embed a video. Most of you guys are probably using YouTube or you're using Easy Video Player, so that's why I wanted to show you both of those. Again, just remember, if you're using Easy Video Player, you have to resize it yourself within Easy Video Player. If you're using uh, YouTube or Vimeo or a, a, a third-party player like that, it should automatically resize for you, okay? So that is if you want to put in a, a video. If you have an image, you can just put in the image 500 pixels by 281, and that's what's going to show up in, in place of the video. Okay. Then you have your sales copy. Okay. The sales copy headline and the headline background color. So your sales copy is going to be right here. Okay. So I'm just going to take some uh, verbiage that I had from a previous one. I'm just going to copy and I'm going to paste it in there. And I'm also going to put, you know, this is a sales copy headline. I'll show you where that goes. And I'll also change this color just so you can see what it what it looks like. And I'm just going to make this like a really light red. Okay. And I'm going to save that. Now, obviously, this is going to look a little ugly. Now, there, there's the, you know, there's the, let me pause that. Here's the light red. Here's your sales headline. Here is copy of, you know, what what you can expect from the from the webinar. And then this part here is the um, the host image and the host um, uh, description. I'll show you where that goes next. So then you have actually, I'm sorry. Next is going to be your your opt-in headline. So this is your this is a opt-in headline. So you can see where this goes. I'm going to save and update that. Okay, and that's going to go right there. Uh, you don't need to change that if you don't want to. I think uh, by default it just said, you know, reserve your seat. Okay. So that's completely up to you if you want to edit that. The opt-in uh, webinar date, this shouldn't really change unless you're looking to translate it. Okay. That's why we that's why we have this option here. So you can see it just pulls in the date and time that you have specified before, October 10th, 
8 p.m. Eastern. That shows up here with the count with the nice calendar. Okay, you don't need to change that unless you want to translate it. Opt-in form settings. Uh, I'm going to have a, a, a separate video on how to embed your form. Okay, so but <clears throat> this is if you want to enable Facebook Connect. So if you want people to be able to connect, uh, or I'm sorry, register through uh, logging into Facebook, you can enable that. Okay, you can put in your what you want your button to say. Okay. And then you have your um, your email field. I'm sorry, your, your name. So you can either use full name or first and last name. This is all for your regular autoresponder code. Okay, so um, you know for now I'm just going to do the full name. You can break it out into first name, last name if that's something you want to collect. If you want to add in phone number, their Skype ID. Uh, if you want to have your own custom image button, you can do that. Uh, your opt-in button color. Say I wanted to make this. I don't know. I'll just make this blue for now and then the opt-in button copy, and then a little spam notice if you want to put that in. So if I save that, now you'll notice when I refresh the page. Okay, so now I have my register with Facebook. So there's something I need to do to configure this so that it does all the leads go into your autoresponder properly. Um, or they can just put in their, their best name and email address, and then here's the button as well. Okay, so everything is right there. So now, now here's uh, the last part before we get into the autoresponders is your webinar host information. So you can either show or hide this. If I wanted to hide this, I'll save that and I'll refresh and you'll notice that this part goes away. And so you'll notice that that's gone now. But if you wanted to add your, your image and uh, you know just a, a, some brief uh, host information, you can do that as well. So that is everything for the registration page. Now, like I said before, we are gonna be adding different templates. And so certain templates may have different um, options. And so you'll have all those options underneath the registration page. Now, the, obviously you're gonna to have to add a few things like your uh, what your webinar is gonna be about in terms of the webinar content, uh, maybe a video or an image. But for the most part, we try to pull in as much information as possible on this page so you don't have to, to worry about it. So this is how, uh, you will configure your registration page. Next, I'm going to be talking about the autoresponder integration and your Facebook Connect.